Hi Kevin here, Table Top Upgrades. I'm going to start this video a little bit differently with my face on it for a start. Um, I've been at Lean for about a year and it's I've come to realise that there's two of the eight ways that I don't really understand. And that uh, means that I don't make effective improvements in those areas. All of my improvements in the first year of me doing Lean have been about one piece of flow um, and reducing inventory doing all the basics to get myself into the position that I've had. You know, I've gone from 1,000 to 4,000 sales in a year is mental. But motion and transport have been something that I just haven't really understood the difference by. And, and as a result, I haven't been effective at making changes in those areas. So Phil and Andrew and the chat, as always, have been very helpful. Explain the difference to me. And I understand the difference now to be that transport is when the product moves. Motion is when the human or when I move. Quite often, if I'm moving a completed product about, that is transport of the product and motion of me. So there's two wastes going on there. So it's compounded the amount of uh, waste. When I'm making something, if I, for example, move a tool so that it's nearer to me, I'm reducing motion. I have a lot of problems in this small workshop, but it's a big problem nonetheless, of transport. I'm making ridiculous movements around the place, moving product or materials out of the actual manufacturing process it's just waste so i'm going to show you some of those eliminate them today and what i'm going to try and do in these videos from now on is whenever i make an improvement state the waste that i'm reducing first in this improvement i'm going to reduce transport to really simple but effective improvements i keep my two and three mil products there 90 percent of the stuff i cut i cut out of black acrylic yeah, over here by the laser, I've got stocks of coloured acrylic, which I touch probably once a month. So I'm going to move the black acrylic there. And similarly, here I've got my process trays, the idea that I stole from Yellow Tools, which is just um, having everything I need to make a particular product in a tray. It works great. But the prism process trays, I only ever interact with next to the laser, and yet I'm walking across the workshop for it. So I'm going to move it down into that stack. Simple improvement addressing transport and motion waste. So two and three mil um, acrylic now under the laser where it needs to be. No more walking across the workshop. And the product there is right where it needs to be next to the packing station. So an explanation for my own benefit, just so I can internalize this. Transport is when the product moves, motion is when the human moves. In this case, it's transport and motion because in the first instance, the two and three mil acrylic, I've got material moving with me across the workshop. And in the second instance, I've got products moving with me across the workshop. So big win there. This is addressing the waste of waiting. I've upgraded from 16 to 32 gig of RAM so the computer is faster. This improvement is addressing the waste of motion of inventory and therefore defects. This is the corner of shame as I call it. There's all kinds of crap behind there. So I've come up with the idea of using a lazy Susan. So I've got three pieces of 18 milli MDF cut. I've got a thrust bearing, so I'm gonna make a turntable. That'll allow me to reduce the motion to access the equipment products behind there. Therefore, I'll be able to thin out the inventory. There'll be all kinds of stuff that needs binning, frankly, or selling. And the stuff in there, like I've got some Gaslands templates that have got wrecked because they've been stored incorrectly. So by sorting this out and reducing motion, reducing inventory, re reducing defects, unlocking human potential and freeing me up to do all the more useful stuff. So this is the first iteration addressing the waste of motion. I used to have to climb around the back to get stuff. Uh, now I can just twist it around with one finger um, really easily. I've cleared a lot of inventory, which is a waste. I had products which were effectively old or broken, so they've hidden defects, which is a waste. So now I don't have a black hole, so I won't have a repeat of those problems. Um, it's not finished because I want to live with it for a few days. I've got a third piece of wood here, which is going to form a second platform. I'm going to get some table legs. But I just want to live with this for a couple of days, work out exactly how I'm going to use this. I like the idea of having drawers across the bottom, so I'm going to think about how that can happen. But big improvement, ticked off three wastes, and um, life's going to be easier with this in place.